Hey everyone, my name is Jason. I'm here with Michael Gale, Lucy Felto, Crystal Dubois, and today we are going to build an enormous Lego spaceship. So this is the build environment that we are going to be building our spaceship in. We have some webcam set up to capture some time lapse footage. We're going to do it in 24 hours. Uh, there are no instructions. It's going to come completely straight out of our heads. And I think the finished ship is going to go right here. And this is basically what we have to start with. So Mike, what are you working on here? Well, I'm roughing out the rough uh, size and footprint of a uh, hangar area for small supply ships to come in and dock. So we're planning to have a couple habitat ring modules which will spin around the ship. So this will be one of them and I'm using Lego train track to get the nice curved shape on it. How's the furniture building going? We're going with a little sleek build here. Something modern, a bit space age, but looking still looking comfortable. So in order to get these habitat arcs to rotate around the central core, I'm actually using these old Hailfire droid rings. There's not a lot of attachment points on these things, so what I've done actually is I've run some axles through the gaps along the outside and connected all with this Technic frame. Well, this is the front of the spaceship. Uh, as usual, I'm focusing more on look and greebling than on the actual structure, so hopefully uh, as I start building this backwards, it'll all fold together. All right, so I am not, in fact, building a giant elephant. I'm working on the engines. There's going to be three of these with a spinning spear in the middle. It's going to be awesome. So I just got the habitat ring operational, and let's see it in action. Oh man, I need a break. Oh, trampoline? Trampoline! <laughs> so I'm actually building a second habitat ring as well, and this will be the sleeping quarters for the most part. Well, we got some more surrounding structure now. We got a roof, which uh, thing I have not had for a long time and uh, we're starting to clamp the front and the sides so now I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do over here. So I finally got three parts of my engine fins done. This ball is going to go in the center and it's going to spin. So working on different parts of different interiors I have some light fixtures, some sofas, the cafeteria area, I have some serving areas. These are just, well, they'll all be inserted later on. This is my favorite. I have a hydroponic area here and here as well. So it's happy hour and we like to pair our wine appropriately. This is Bricklayer's Predicament, perfect for building. So here's the second half of that ring and the motor mount I have for it attached to the spine of the ship. Okay, so we have the engine assembly on with spinning and lighting action. We have a crew residence ring with all the beds in it. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. It seems that every hour the update photograph that I, uh, I take, it seems like this never changes. <laughs> um, but slowly but surely, I just have the last eight steps to complete. And then we're going to figure out how to join it up with that. OK, so I have both arcs of the habitat ring together finally and right now I'm wiring up some LEDs. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> Crystal and I finished the interiors and so we're pleased with that. 
So it's 4.06 a.m. I've finished the engine. Lucy and I have finished the inside of the habitat. Jason and Mike look like they've got a lot of work left to do, but I'm going for chocolate cake. Okay, so it's 6.15 in the morning, and after 21 hours and 15 minutes, we're calling it a wrap. We're naming this ship the Ares K. If you'd like to see the raw time-lapse videos, you can find them over on Michael's channel at Brick Dimensions. And if you want to see more footage of the finished ship, be sure to check out this showcase video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.